People with ADHD don't fall asleep, they pass out. And that is so important to understand about yourself if you have ADHD, but also if you have children that have ADHD, because it means you have to break all the bedtime rules, all the rules that we've been taught about bedtime, because it what works for a neurotypical child, surprise, surprise, doesn't work for the ADHD child. And so what that means is instead of bath time, bed, like being all calm and relaxed, first of all, let them bounce, let them get all the energy out, let them run around, let them do all the things. Don't expect them to kind of slowly down into sleep because what they're doing is going boink straight into sleep. So first of all, let them burn off the energy. And then second, give their brain something to focus on whilst they're falling asleep, passing out. So that might mean that you break the rule and you give them a tablet at bedtime or they have a TV in their bedroom. We find that brown noise really helps and stories never bloody worked. They've never worked. ADHD and neurotypical brains work in complete opposite forms. And truly, if you struggle to get your ADHD child to bed, change it, change all the rules and do something different. And this way might help bedtime be a bit more manageable and get them to sleep a bit earlier. So yeah, hope that helps. Take care.